What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Got another What's in the Box video for you. Today we're looking at the AMT Reason Repop of the Tommy Ivo Dragster. I uh, looked on Scalemates a little bit. They've released this kit in many different iterations. Um, I've never built a dragster, and a buddy of mine who's just recently taken an interest in models had said something about the he's like oh that looks cool and i got such a great deal on two of them the uh buddy build kits are starting to stack up so we're gonna pop into this one and take a look at what's on it on the trees uh typical amt it's got the picture on the back of what's inside but if you're a fan of the channel you know, I'm a big fan of actually physically seeing what's in it myself. Uh, what's going on back here? This is uh, some more honey hole haul stuff. I'll talk briefly about that. But this video is about the Tommy Ivo Dragster. These uh, art issues, kind of neat. I've gotten a couple of them. I've got uh, one with the heavy Chevy. I uh, can't remember the other one at the moment. I think it was the 59 Impala. Mm, no, I don't know. El Camino? I can't remember. But that's pretty neat, you know? It, it is uh, pretty nice detail. Good thick stock if you wanted to, to hang it up, put it somewhere. Let's see what's in here with the small, typical AMT style instruction sheet. And then. To chassis and interior. <laughs> uh, like I said, I've never done a dragster. I've done a funny car. Uh, and that one was kind of challenging with the, the way the, the rails and everything had to be just to put them together to keep it straight. Take a look at this new and improved decal sheet. MT is always a uh, quick to they're proud of what they're doing on their decals and you know sometimes with good reason those are actually pretty cool that's a nice color scheme those would look good on say a blow rider or something a uh, bunch of sponsor contingency stickers I'll hold it still so maybe you can see it without my hand in the way I'm kind of shaking a little bit. I've had too much coffee. <laughs> I've been on a roll this morning working on this uh, how-to series. And it's doing pretty smooth. It's doing pretty well. Knock on simulated wood grain. In the interest of noise, let's just go ahead and get all this stuff out of the plastic now. Oh no! Huh. This camera took a dive. Whoa. Okay. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. So, not a lot to it. Not a lot of parts. But, looks like it should come out pretty neat. Really nice tires. Had printed Goodyear's. There are two parts, but the way the inserts go together, it looks like they'll go in there pretty nicely. And you know, those stuff inside really well. In fact, you can hardly even see that seam. Really cool. Same with the front. Those are just one part. Little teeny tiny bicycle wheels, motorcycle wheels. Well, body portion. A wing, a wing thing, wing ding ding thing. There's your big 426. Uh, I'm not sure what these other parts are, but I'll take a look at them. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I just kind of see it. A little dragster. Neat. So I wonder if you can display it with that off of it. I imagine you probably can. I'm not sure what that is. Is that part of the cockpit or the engine goes in or don't know. Never built a dragster. Like I said, uh, not a whole lot of parts here. 
With some cool details on that seat though. Same with like the rear end, you know, good bolts around the differential. Looks good. And then this chrome tree. Wow. <laughs> those wheels. Oh, those are two part. Ooh, okay, it's gonna be tricky to get those to attach and not burn the chrome. But nice deep dish. Those are those are gonna look sick. Other chrome stuff. Engine. Very nice. Looks really good. I uh, love that that steering wheel. The uh, nice little foot pedal. Pretty cool. Looking forward to this. This is uh, this should be a, a fun build. Like I said, it's another another uh, ammo to the buddy build we've got going on here. Cool. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.